Hello everyone, this is Apple and iOS Genius on the YouTube channel. Uh, today we're going to go through, uh, Java keeps doing an update, so in every update there seems like there's some little tiny modification that they do and they're different updates of Java and our individual staff members uh, for accessing IEP or any other specific website for school education and non-school education uh, website. Um, they run into an issue with IEP and a few other uh, applica applications on the websites that they're unable to access it because it requires Java, uh, which again, a lot of it uses Java, but then also on top of that, we uh, they use other browsers and so forth. The best browser we found so far is working with is Firefox. Yes, it can technically work in Safari. It has been working in Safari, but there is an additional... Uh, terminal script that needs to be done to perform the option on the, your MacBook. So speak to your uh, tech department or your IT system administrator. If they're familiar on how to do the script, uh, they can easily deploy it out to everyone else. Uh, this is over at District 87 and we are uh, running through scripts through my colleagues uh, are also was able to do that and make it work successfully through Safari. Uh, right now, for the time being, I'm just going to show you the way to do it Firefox, the universal way, if those individuals out there are not familiar on doing the scripts. So here we go. So we're just going to go ahead to, uh, uh, we're going to go ahead and download uh, Java. Right now I have Java already installed. The Java version that I have is probably the latest and greatest. Uh, I did have previously, like yesterday, the older version. I'm just doing some more testing. That's why I have to see what Java I have. Here we go. I have Java 8, update 16. It, this just technically changed from Java's website today on the 18th of August, uh, but yesterday it was 51. So we're going to go ahead and just re-download it like we you normally do with Java or any other application, just so we go through the same process. So as you can see, you can do the free download. You select on the agree to start the free download. Uh, it's going to go ahead and download it. You can close your browser at this time. Uh, well, actually, he says, no, that must be an update now. Okay, so let's let the, the download finish. And once it's finished, and what we're going to do, we're going to install it. After we install it, we're going to make sure the settings stay in effect, which is basically going to need or require, um, it's going to require the security is going to set as high, and then we're going to need to make sure that under the safe site list is actually... Uh, listed there for that portal.connect.cps.edu site is there. Uh, you know what, this is taking a while to download but I already have it here so we're going to open this up we're going to go ahead and close this okay so here's the Java, as you can see Java 8 update 60 up here at the title bar you want to go ahead and double left click this, install it you may be prompted with your admin password, hopefully you do have authority to install on your MacBook. If you do not, please feel free to reach out to your technician. Uh, share my videos over to your IT technicians over there and administrators or your facilitator, your technology facilitator, uh, so that they are be aware of these updates that I upload for YouTube. So here it basically updates Chrome because Chrome is my default browser, so it says we detected you're using Google Chrome because I also again use uh, Chrome for Google for education. So we're going to go ahead and close this. Uh, we don't really need this to know that. So here's the installation. It's already been installed. You want to select OK. Uh, you want to go ahead and open, oops, actually before I even open Firefox, you would actually want to go to your system preferences. It's either down at the bottom dock or up in the top left, Apple system preferences. Once you're there, you want to go ahead and select on Java on the very bottom. You got to wait till another window opens. When the other window opens, you want to make sure the update that you currently have is the one that you install, which is Java 8, update 60. You could install this one. You can still use the old version. Uh, what I normally do here is check for updates automatically. I normally uncheck this. Uh, and then, um, because you don't want it to update and then screw up anything that you may have had set up properly with IEP or any other educational websites or non-educational websites. You want to select on security. You want to select on high, leave it on high. Uh, from here, as you can see, it actually did transfer over. It did transfer over this uh, site list, the exception site list. So basically how to do this is basically what you want to do is just select an edit site list. Here for add, you can either double left click. Uh, actually, it looks like they removed that option. 
So you want to select an ad, uh, type in the site. It, you all, pretty much you may just only know that it's www.whatevertheWebsite.com or it might just be portal.connect.cps.edu. But technically what you need to do, you won't be able to save it like this. You will actually have to need to include the HTTP in front of it with an S colon slash slash. Once you've added that, you can go ahead and press enter on your keyboard. It saves it there. You want to select OK. Once you've done that and it shows it's listed there, you want to go ahead and select apply. It's going to ask you for your admin password again to make these changes. So I made the changes. It accepted the changes. So now I can just close this. What you need to do is go to Firefox. Now some individuals got confused or so I'm not sure how, but it uh, does state on my uh, Google uh, site uh, on YouTube that basically the site you want to go to is called wordle.net to enable the Java applet. Uh, you can do this under java.com, but I do this as a secondary. As you can see, if you have the animation, that's going to work. Sometimes it won't work, so and then this pop up screen you see here do not run this application or do you want to run this application? Do not check mark this box where it says do not show again. If you do check mark that option again, you might run into the same problem again with Java with that specific website or application. And uh, if you select do not show, you're not going to see it again, and it's going to really kind of hard to reset this to get this back. So you want to hit run, and right here is an expected error. I came across this earlier and it came because these this error message came up possibly because this website is supporting Java but it's only supporting Java 5.1 not Java um, uh, 860 since that just came out today so give it about a day or two the other way to verify uh, what Java you have installed but it's not just verifying the Java you want to make sure that Java applet gets it activated Normally, the Java applet gets deactivated automatically. So you want to select verify. You're going to see here in a moment. It might just animate. Yep, go ahead and animate. There may be a little button here that you click, and it'll say uh, activate plugin. Once you activate the plugin, you'll normally get this congratulations. But since I've already had the Java already installed, I'm not going to get it. So that's already getting there. So now what you want to do is just go to the website portal. Oops. I can spell portal.connect.cps.edu. Once I hit enter, you're going to see a loading black loading bar down here at the bottom uh, in a moment. And when you do, if it goes really slow and it gets stopped under the word scan, then that means it may just stop and give you an error message. If it keeps going further, once it passes the word scan right here where the spiral beach ball is at and it go, jumps right across, that means it's going to work. Again, this is another pop up that you'll get. You want to allow the access of the application of this website. You do not want to check mark this box. Make sure that box is unchecked so you'd be prompted with the message again. So you want to select allow and then there's the bar. As you can see it's just jump past scan. Now you can go ahead and log into your uh, IEP account or whatever other website you might relate it to Java that you need to log into. So that's pre pretty much how to get in there. Now if you did check mark that checkbox by, ch by chance the first one and the second one, which I've stated, don't do that uh, because we tend to forget how to get it back. So basically to get it back is when you go to System Preferences, uh, Java, and this is only if you check mark those boxes. And if you did check mark the boxes, you'll go to Security, and here it says Restore Security Prompts. Once you hit this, you want to select Restore All. So those pop-ups will appear. Now if you check mark those boxes to say, oh, don't bother me again, it's working, I don't want it, you know, and it's working, but tomorrow it could just not work again. And then the problem is you have to remember going to the Java control panel, uh, restore security prompts, restore all, and then once you've done the restore all, then you need to hit OK, and then you need to close out of this window. So it's basically additional steps to go through. So hopefully this helps you out in using Java 8 uh, update 60 in getting to your IEP site or any other related sites. If you're unable to get to any of these other sites, feel free to leave a comment at down at the bottom of my YouTube channel uh, of the video that you're viewing and make your statement and uh, give me the website link as well and I will test it on my laptop before you test it on yours to make sure it works. Okay, that's it. Feel free to subscribe down to the bottom. This is Apple at iOS Genius for updates of Apple Education. Uh, Gaffy, as well as uh, other how-tos of Apple devices. Thanks.